Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Sorry, I just woke up, so if I'm a little, uh, you guys know why. So, uh, today we're gonna talk about, uh, how to unlock classes in Skyforge. And, uh, this is actually something very, very important. So let me just adjust this, my ADHD is kicking in. Alright, so, um, this is something very important to note. Uh, because you know how in games, guys, when you, you know, you always want to look up guides because you don't want to, like, mess up your character or, you know, stuff like that. This is kind of where Skyforge's, I guess, you could mess up your character would be involved. But you're not really messing up your character. You're just delaying its progression for a very long time. Alright, so, in a previous video, I showed you guys the Ascension Atlas, and I didn't really understand uh, how it worked. So, just to confirm, this is my Light Binder's... Atlas, right? The Atlas is like your skill tree. So this is specifically for my light binder. Uh, just note that the same currency I'm going to spend on my on my light binder, my sparks of destruction, my sparks of creation, and my sparks of balance are the same thing that's going to be used to unlock new classes. Not the class specifically, but I'll, I'll explain it here in a minute. The only thing that I can use on this Atlas that I cannot use on the other one would be my sparks for my specific class, which would be my sparks of mercy. So with that being said, let's go to the Ascension Atlas and let's talk about this. This is where you would unlock your new classes. So if you look at the three starting classes, assume you haven't purchased, uh, assuming you haven't purchased any any packs, the three starting classes I do believe are located. They're somewhere in the middle, right here. All right. So we've got the Cryomancer, we've got the Paladin, and we have the Lightbinder. So this is unlocked, I believe, when you unlock your ultimate skill on your on one of your classes. So to get to a new class, you literally have to navigate your way through this tree, which is pretty expensive. So you can see here, you've got like a 150, uh, 150 destruction, and then you've got a 200, I always forget the name of these, balance, and then an additional, you've got another 150, and then a 115, and then a 200. Now, the cool thing about this atlas, though, which is also called like the global atlas, is it's got insane buffs on it. So, if you look in the middle here, in the middle you would normally have a skill or a talent on your, on your main tree. However, in this one, that's not the case. For example, talent bonus dash. Number of dash charges is increased by one for each level of this symbol. That's really good. That's, that goes from three dashes to four, plus however many you can find on the tree. Another example would be uh, maximum recoil. Critical damage is increased by 10% for each level in this symbol. Uh, another one would be for the first 8 seconds of the fight, damage dealt is increased by 12 seconds for every level of this symbol. Uh, I'll just go over another one, for example, rapid attack. For the first 3 seconds of the fight, damage dealt is increased by 6% for every level. So there's actually really, really cool things that would affect all of your characters in here. Uh, although I do not believe you can use your sparks, so if you go, if I go back really fast to confirm for you guys, right here you can see under my main tree, under my light binder, I have my sparks of mercy. Now, if I was a berserker, I'd have like sparks of fury. You know, whatever class you're playing, you have your specific sparks for your main tree, which are pretty much used to unlock the talents and uh, the skills. However, you can supplement them uh, for for like using. Like, instead of using whatever spark you would have, you could just pay that amount in your class-specific spark. But, back to this one. You can see here, you have a new currency called Sparks of Evolution. I'm not really sure what that is. There's also something else called Spark of something else. So, like, if you go over here, this is your Divine Abilities, which is your ultimate. This upgrades your ultimate. That's, like, I don't even know. That purple gem, I'm not sure. So, there's, there's still some other stuff. Maybe it's given from harder raids. But anyway, back back to the topic of how you unlock these classes. So you would navigate your way through, you know, however it is that you'd like to get to, uh, and then you, it splits here. You choose which way you want to go. So say I go up, up would get me to the class kinetic, and this costs three. Um, I'm gonna flick you off symbols, which are not. It's not too hard to get 300. Uh, some quests will give you some naturally, along with um, they they pop up on on the world map just like, you know, any other uh, currency types would. So this is not too hard to get. The only annoying thing is, is you know, the amount of sparks you're going to use going from one spot to another, which really does make it kind of a grind. So we've got, uh, near the middle, we've got the Kinetic. We've got the Slayer. We have the Archer. 
and the Necromancer. So these are all things that are relatively simple to get to. Anything else is going to be pretty far out of the way, such as the Gunner and the Berserker. So the Gunner is on the other side of the map, which is like all the way to the extreme left. So unlocking the Gunner is a pretty big advantage um, if you wanted to play it, because it's pretty far away from the other one. You can see here, if we count this as a cluster, you're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like 11 clusters away, I think at the shortest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's something like 11 clusters. Whereas the other classes, I'm not counting the beginning, would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like 5 or 6. So that's, that's a lot shorter. And then the Berserker is all the way on the other side over here. Now, one thing to note as well is, like, I'm going to hover over the Necromancer. So these cost 300 sparks to get into, right? The Berserker costs 500 sparks to get into. So here you can see 500 for bonus strength. Or, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, bonus strength. Another, you know, 500 for 32 might. So these are very, very expensive. Uh, I am unaware if you can start. So, like, I have the Gunner unlocked right now, right? I'm not sure if I can actually start from here and branch it off. It looks like I can. It shows it that I can, I think. So because I have it unlocked, I might be able to start branching from here, which I think would be really sick. But I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not. Uh, but anyways, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a little update about that. Uh, I apologize of not really understanding how this worked in my other video. This game is, is very... It, it doesn't give you too much at once. Like, it's not overwhelming. But as you progress through the game, it's just nothing is told to you. So you just randomly start obtaining shit and you're just like, what? Uh, but, you know, that's closed beta testing one for you. This is the first week of closed beta testing. It's the first official one. And uh, because of that, you know, it's just it's just testing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, any questions you guys have, please feel free to drop them down below. Holy shit, I thought my microphone was muted. I was going to get a little mad. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.